So as I just said in the text that you hopefully just read, technological determinism says that something, some new technology comes into our lives and we are forever changed by that technology in ways that we couldn't have comprehended, but we also couldn't really resist. So one example away from social media that kind of talks about this is the invention of the car. So when we invented the car, a couple of big changes happened in the years immediately following that. So for example, uh, the car gets invented and it enables people to move further distances and faster and on their own pace. So we start to see the rise of other things happen as well. So for example, a lot of people start moving out of city centers and into suburbs, right? Because they can now get to and from their job in the city relatively easy, um, easily. So we start to see the advent of suburbs and we also then start to see houses that have garages. And so people will now um, buy a car and they will park that car in the garage, which means that it also changes the social structure of their day a lot. So if you live in the city and you walk to work, chances are you would leave your house, you would see your neighbors, you would say hello on a pretty regular basis. But if you have a car and you park it in the garage, it means that you leave your house and enter your car in the garage. You drive away with potentially never talking to your neighbors and then you get home from work and you pull back into your garage and you go right into your home. So is it possible to still talk to your neighbors? Yes, of course. But uh, is it also possible to completely avoid social interaction with the people in your uh, own community, the community of people in which you live? Uh, yeah, it becomes entirely possible. So as an example of technological determinism, we see that the car comes into our lives and it has these impacts that we uh, are very difficult to avoid. And that just kind of changed our society regardless of, of whether we wanted them to or not. As another example, we can think about something uh, like the iPhone and how that has come into our lives and completely shifted the way that we engage in all sorts of different types of communication. So the iPhone entered in uh, to our world actually not that long ago, but um, there was this entire culture around how we were going to use the iPhone and who was going to use the iPhone and how long we would keep a particular phone, right? So the picture that you're looking at in the bottom corner is lines of people waiting outside of an Apple store trying to purchase uh, the latest iPhone. Of course, there's not really that much difference between years of the iPhone. Like you know, the camera gets a little better, the you know, you can hear people a little better. There's these small, subtle differences, but we then just start to have this sort of culture of obsolescence, right? So where people can um, get rid of their new technologies before they're really done because it becomes like socially cool or you get some sort of social capital uh, for having the latest and greatest gadget. So we have these new gadgets that come into our lives. And of course, all the social media inherent in that changes us. But so does just even the act of having a phone, of seeing a phone, of seeing what phone somebody uses. And we start to like determine um, people, like what we know about people based on like whether they have an iPhone or whether they have something else. And so all of these different things uh, tend to be then uh, technologies coming into our lives and changing some aspect of how we think about people or categorize people or uh, just really engage with the world.